Okay, cool. Looks like I'm live. All right, hi everyone, AV here. Let's continue our journey through Amalur. This is part lucky 13. So, today we're going to complete some side quests over here in the. I've already forgotten how to pronounce this correctly. I think it's she um, area. So we're going to go kill the Thresh for one of these missions. And just to recap what that is, uh, despite the warnings of Luca Soren, I have volunteered to kill the Thresh that wounded her. Luca told me that the Thresh was in Eastern, and I think it's she, south of the river. So we're going to go take care of that first. I hope everyone's week has been really good. Everything's going good with everyone. Easter weekend. Everyone has some fun plans, or maybe no plans if that's what you prefer. That's what I prefer. <laughs> oh man, I am not ready. Stumbled at first, but then I recovered pretty quickly. Ah, okay. I'm always messing with this mic because I just I see it constantly. I wish I didn't see it. Okay. So we're just gonna run over there. Wrap up this quest, wrap up the other quest. And then I think we need to bounce back, or at least I want to check on the main quest and see if we need to work on that at all. We might need to. I always do a shock on the shock high, and I know it's not going to work. Oh, we're about to level up. something. Did you guys see that thumbnail I used for this uh, recent <laughs> video? take that long. It was just slightly different than the usual, so it was a little more fun to make. Wow. I'm just following the path. I wasn't even looking at the map. Uh, hmm. is I remember this being a very challenging fight my first time playing this game and I'm pretty sure I was playing a normal so let's see how lucky I am today it's gonna be tough because he's gonna do his little ground pounds Right into that one. Oh, 
Wow. Okay, he's almost gone already. Oh, we already need to, um... I don't think I've repaired my stuff in a while, and I really need to be better about that. I'm supposed to uh, shoot, roll, shoot, roll, but I forget sometimes. Oh, it just blocks his attacks? Okay, so this is a little bit better than what we have, but it has the same health. This one also does freezing damage, but this one also does fire damage. It is a little less physical damage. Slightly less ice and freezing, but more fire. Let's try it. Now, before we go back to him, I want to check out this other quest. Uh, okay. I don't know how to pronounce that. Cedric? Cedric? Is it Cedric form? Has told me to meet him at the Fey Hollow of... Oh, yeah! The Runemir. Okay. This is that dungeon that we needed to go to. Alright, so we'll do this next, actually. Let's turn this in first this in and then we'll go to the dungeon quest Greetings. you are a force Ooh, to be leveled up with. it's not easy to defeat such a vicious monster please take this reward my heart will no longer be filled with dread when i venture into the she it is she that's how you pronounce it cool farewell Oh yeah. Save and level up. Okay, so what should we do? Um I kinda wanna get my stealth up. It's not like I use stealth a lot, but it um there's just some situations that if you went and like stealth killed the enemy, like it just makes your life a little easier. You could, um, you know, stealth kill a few of them, less enemies to hit. But um, not gonna. It's not really a game changer, but I might need it for those traveler quests. We already have more than enough alchemy to do what we need to do to make the potions. I would personally like to really beef up dispelling and lock picking so it's just um, less possibility of curses and stuff um, I want to put it on dispelling I think no I want to put it on stealth yeah detect hidden is really the main one I have to get and then after that it's kind of just like whatever I feel like um Mercantile is important. That's going to increase uh, how much I sell stuff for. But I already have a shitload of money, like way more money than I need to worry about for right now. So I'm not too stressed about that. Lockpicking and dispelling, you've seen it. I'm still doing the auto lockpicking, auto dispelling. It works most of the time. Sometimes I lose a few lockpicks or sometimes I get cursed. But for the most part, it's I could just reload if that happens. Persuasion is important, though. I do want to put more stuff into Persuasion, but right now there are actually some quests that I can't really do. I mean, I could, they would just be harder, so I'm going to put some more points into Stealth, clean out these areas a little bit. That way when we go back to the Travelers, it'll be a little easier or manageable, because there are a lot of little sneaky quests in there. All right. Or might. Yeah, we're still putting it on this. Or finesse. 
put it on reason. And for sorcery, go ahead and put on this. Wow, it's nice to see that set up. But now we can we're going to have to start putting stuff into the weapons in in these. Well, I do think over here I'm gonna have to put it on this one. I really don't use this ability that much. Um, but I don't use daggers at all, really. Maybe I'll put it over there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, alright. Now, it's still too soon to be getting the good stuff. That's not going to be until 26. So, we are only at... Um, 19, yeah. Well, we're not that far away, really. Why is that happening? Okay, that should be my items. So I don't have any... I really not have any... I mean, consumable, sorry. Any mana? I should, I should have tons of these. I do. Why is it doing that? I think the game just might have glitched out. Oh no, it didn't. I'm just tired. Uh, no, I meant it is low. Don't worry about it. Um, let me save though. I reload just in case it's being a little weird. Oh yeah, I need to check out the gambler. Um, I do need to do that. I wonder if he's here. What ends he appears in? Oh shit! Oh, that's the um. We can't loot that yet. One of the reasons we're putting some money into or points into stealth. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Hey. Safe travels. <laughs> Why don't we go do that? It's not that hard. Kind of fun. Um, let's pop to Goreheart and we'll jump to a couple ends really quick. Yeah, Sammy reminded me, um, um, YouTube, that I should check out Ambler. If I see him, is that him? Lucky. He kind of rotates between ends, and I really don't know what determines which end he appears at when. But yeah, so the Gambler, he is basically like, that's his name, you know, it's Gambler, get it, haha. -ha. Um, I'm happy to help you with whatever you need. I'm open to buy or sell. He's basically your loot, your loot box guy. So I'm a, I do save scum, so I'd like to get in a position where I save where I'm already pressing A on him. Or like I'm about to. That way I can just quickly reload and press A again. What can I do for you today, Stray? Because, um... I mean, maybe if you were more of a jack of all trades, it wouldn't matter so much, but I only use Veilates, only use Chakrams, and then when it comes to armor pieces, I'm a lot more specific. You know, it has to have ability bonuses, so it does happen. I will get an item that I just flat don't use, and you know, I could just go with that, the RNG, and make that the way it worked out, but I don't do that. I like to just load back, so um, you have these choices here, they're basically loot boxes. You pick one, it's going to randomly be an item in that category. And, um, oh, oh, wow, I, I, I've sold stuff to him that I've already forgot about. What was that one? Yeah, no wonder I sold that. Oh, man. Let's see. I guess I want the unique weapon surprise. 
I'm happy to help. However, I like that's a staff for something. Uh, I don't want it. So loading back. Take a look. And I have Let like I've done this before on my main it. save just to play with it to test it out. And um, you can get the same item more than once, so there's n really no harm in. You know, if you want to save scum or whatever, but getting the item that you want, however long it takes. For me, like, it really, like, it takes a while. Like, you really do just get a random weapon like that. And it's, so it's like, to be lucky enough to get the item you want, like the chakrams or the uh, um, Fey Blades. Like, if I just get a Fey Blades or a chakram, I'm fine. I'm done. I'm not going to play anymore with this game like with this gambler loot box thing i'm happy to help you with whatever you need i'm open to buy or sell if the yeah, so i'm gonna do this a little bit just to see if i can get some good i'll play it a handful of times and you know if i don't i don't it's fine i'm, I'm not gonna sit to here all day on it you... I'm open oh, to gee buy why is it that happening right now. If the price is right. Not normally that unlucky. Destiny. My fate. I must get the hammer. I'm happy to help you with whatever you need. I'm open to buy or sell. I'm only getting those two items. What's going on? <laughs> no. What can I do for you today? Camera's in the wrong position today. What can I do for you today, stranger? I'm happy okay, to I got help. storm blade that time. Take a look and let me know if you'd like to purchase anything. There you go. Let's go take a look at what that is. I got some chakrams. If it's even at our level. Alright, so currently what we have is um, 81 damage, right? Uh, with 18 physical damage, 18 and whatever. Like, you can see our kind of area we're at right now. This is a level 5 item. The item I got from him is level 6. So it is kind of better. <laughs> Like, it's level better, the physical damage is better, the lightning damage is better. 50% chance to steal mana isn't bad, but I really don't care for it on a weapon. I mean, I guess it's okay. If, I mean, that is kind of how I play. I am playing Chakram's Magicka, and um, that's pretty much it, or I guess the occasional Fey Blade. But I'm mostly chakram, so getting some mana back isn't bad. As per hits, so that's okay. It's just going to be six less damage. And I honestly, my personal opinion, I think lightning is like the worst damage to have in this game. Because with the ice damage, you're freezing them, and that means that can slow them down which is really good. Fire damage adds burning. Fire damage also like really affects certain enemies. But like the shock damage, like sometimes I honestly feel like it, it like it feels like I don't even have an enchantment on my weapon. So hmm, I'm debating on if I want them or not. Go see. <laughs> I mean, it kind of really doesn't matter, honestly. Like, at this point, we're low level. Hey, they look cool, right? Just kill that little. Did. 
killed a chicken already on accident. No one saw that. Did I ever open this? I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, I'll just use them for now. We'll see if maybe uh, it'll change my mind. Let's go back in there, and I want to grab some armor and stuff from him, too, because why not? I got him lined up. Like, I mean, look at this. Right now, we have almost a million. So we really aren't too worried about money right now. Let's see what you got. Um, okay, we, we could, we really could just look at all this stuff, but I'm going to go with the jewelry first. See what we can get. Let me know if you'd like to purchase it. Oh, fuck, it's a ring. <laughs> Let's go see what the ring looks like. Maybe it's a good ring. Um, oh, that's a net. That is a necklace. Well, the one I currently have gives me a bonus to an ability, so that's not good. So honestly, I don't even know if I could get one that's going to be good because, I mean, I think what I could use for as far as an accessory goes, um, I could use, um, I could use a ring, a health ring, a health focused ring, or a better sorcery focus ring if it comes with an ability. Um, as far as necklaces go, like I really need a ring that gives me finesse because i have a ring that gives me sorcery and a necklace that gives me might i wouldn't mind a better necklace because that's a very like low level one but i'm happy to help could you use armor I'm open. let's see what we can get and i always buy one at a time so that way you can check it see if you like it and if it's good, you can save, and then buy the next one. If that one's bad, you can load it back, and you're not going to lose that one good uh, loot that you got. I get. Oh fuck! I definitely don't want. So if you try swords or armor, you're going to get robes. I wouldn't mind boots or other stuff, um, but robes means um, definitely not going to use it. Oh no, that's not it. My bad. Leggings of the Wanderer. Um, so it take four to be finesse bonus, so I don't need that. Now there are some legendaries that do give uh, pretty good bonuses. That's not one of them for me. I remember because of my my main build has like specific legendaries. Uh, legendaries. I've been playing Borderlands. Uh, what are they called in this game? Rare, I think. That's what it. What can I do for you today, stranger? Oh, just boost the wanderer again. I already know I don't want those. Um, let's let's look at um. We already tried weapon. We got shotguns. That's good. Take a look and let me know if you'd like to. I'm not seeing any finesse armor that I like. Lunala, I think that is that one that I used. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. There's not even an ability bonus in here, so I don't even care about it. I, I to be honest, I, I am pretty content with what I have. So you can look at by comparison right here. Look how much better that one is. It's almost twice the defense. So it is kind of worth it compared to what I already have. And why do I still have this in my inventory? That one can go because there's no abilities here. We did test this out. We're fine. It's not really affecting us too much. This, two of these would give us sorcery, but the defense is so low. I don't even know if I could justify it. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just load back. That might be able to get. I'm already kind of losing interest in gambling. It's, it's kind of a fun thing, I guess. Um, 
don't think it's for me. I've never got one of these, so... It could be good. Let's try one. Rare Finesse Armor Supplies. Let's try that. Oh, sh you can buy 10 of them? Alright, let's buy 10 of them. I'm happy to help. Oh, it's just generic stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I mean, I guess they're okay. One of these gives us a bonus to finesse. Um, that one's okay. Yeah, but so my opinion about it is that if you're really pressed, like you feel like, man, I just don't really ha haven't gotten any good loot in a while, then I would definitely try and seek out the gambler and just buy some stuff to hold you over until you can find some better items. But otherwise, if I'm just going to get stuff that's slightly better than what I already have, and it's or it's about the same. To me, it's not really worth it, especially because of how specific my build is. So that means that I'm there's a lot of stuff that I, I really can't use. And I know there's people out there who have way more specific builds than I do. Mine is really just Chakram, um, Pay Blade. I don't really care too much about what types, other than I don't really like Shock. And. Then I just like my armor to be set up in a way where like I'm getting an equal distribution of bonus ability points for all three. Finesse, Sorcery, and Might. And that's really it. Um, yeah, but that was fun. I don't want to take up too much time doing that. So we got to kind of take a look at that. And I'm glad that um, I came over here because I finally have... Like, they're okay, Shockrams. I don't know. We're going to try them out. Um, Try the corner <sighs> all right, let's get back to what we're doing. And I need to switch to the side quest, the brownie den. I didn't finish the description earlier, so this is the largest brownie den in this she. The and Cedric feels that we will discover the cause of the ambushes there because we're trying to figure out what the uh, reason uh, people are getting ambushed by brownies in the she. So. That's our objective right now. We did discover this place, so now we get to just go inside of it. And a chest I never got. Oh, I did. Damn it. I couldn't see it from the side. Well, it's a lot faster than Good. I was expecting. You made it. It is as I feared. A crudock has made its lair at the bottom of this hollow. We will need to find it and kill it. A crudock? Oh, I know what those are. Not a fan. in a while. Oh, that happens sometimes. Let's take a look at what that did to us. That is effects. You contracted a disease. Find a healer or drink a purification potion, a potion to cure yourself. Fifth, negative 50% armor. That's going to suck. Um, do I have one? I usually try to carry one on me all the time. Okay, we'll go find a healer after this. Not a big deal. But with that, like, I don't want to get two curses, so I'm going to save again. Oh, I waited for that one. I normally just jump straight into the game. Oh, 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 we have some low rolls today. 
Maybe I used up all my good luck on the gambler, and it wasn't even... Like, I rolled like a four. <laughs> you okay, Mara? You doing something you're not supposed to? Come over here. Come here. Mara, come here. Come on. Okay. Let's try this one more time before I actually will try to auto. Oh! Ah, uh, damn it. Ooh, what's that? Look at that. I feel like that was that. The ones we were getting from the gambler were like level 35 or something for the gloves. 12% damage against humanoids? That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. So, more than twice the defense, but I gain damage against people, but I lose damage. I'm really only losing 8% poison damage, which I don't think I'll notice. 5% experience bonus, we're not really going to notice, and the 5%. So I think it's worth to equip these. RIP, Silk Farmer Gloves. I'll miss you. I have no idea why those are my favorite gloves in this game. Like, I must have... I got them... I think it's just because that's my favorite area. Canarok, and that's one of the rewards you get over there. I don't know how it is. Well, this one's easy. should always say before, I'm like, oh, this was easy, and then, like, of course I fail it. Like, my dude is just rolling, like, zeros today. Okay, what's that? This is, uh, crap. This is not as good as losing plus one finesse. Well, shit. It's like, um, oh, it's 40 more defense. But I can't even equip this one. It's 21 might. I won't be there for another two levels. I'll just go ahead and trash it. What am I hearing? Sound from. Is it him? I can't remember what that sound is from in this game. It's from something. There might be something below that guy, or below that part of the dungeon, or maybe it is that guy. I think it sounds like the altars. I think the altars. Like the ones you can get blessings from. Or maybe it's this. I have no idea. Alright guys. A lot of saves coming today. This is just showing that I really need to uh, work on my dispelling. I mean, those are still... I mean, I was, I'd be a little disappointed if I just found better shotguns, but that really is fine. Those weren't good, so I just got rid of them. Oh man, before we forget, we need to go back. Sammy reminded me of this too on a YouTube comment. We need to go back to where we met with Agarth because I forgot to check out an area in that dungeon. I'm sure it's just like a little bit of loot, but, you know, why not? How can I help? <laughs> can you unlock this? Be careful. Like, it, that's, then you can't help. 
Tell me about the scars that brownies can give you. Your teeth, it's a little suspicious. Love the dungeons like this in this game where they're um, you are inside like it's a dungeon, but it feels more than that. It's birds chirping. I don't like I'm stuck to this path, but I can see a little beyond the path, and sometimes you can see through the root system, see that there's an outside, and that's really cool. I love it whenever you're in a dungeon. And that you know is a dungeon, but it doesn't look like a dungeon. So much. in time and it just shows up. Oh man. I need to work on my dispelling. Like that's what we've learned today. Dispelling is where our next skill point goes. You don't have to keep watching me save scum all the time. No. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed my save. Oh well. Be fine. But these guys can fuck you up if you're not careful. Oh, I got, I got a little stunt, like real life shot of it. Huh? I need to, um,. Do the bleed damage on him because he's gonna get me. So bad. It's those poison attacks, and then I think it's I already have 15% less damage or defense. Their ambushes, and the trail to Detir will be safe again. Thank you for your help. I would not have sure been thing. able to defeat the monster on my own. Another really, because time. you didn't help me. They already saw me. They didn't see me yet. Oh. I only lose. I can switch to these, uh, but they wear down farther, or more. That's 11 more damage. I only lose... Oh, I, I like the 10% chance to steal 18 mana. I want to hold on to that. Those are worse. Gotta get over there. Thank you. 
you know why I love these dungeons so much is because Oblivion was my first like real like first person RPG ever, uh, and um, these remind me of, of Shivering Isles. <laughs> I just remember that the NPCs can die, so I was like, oh no. Fine. Hopefully he's not attacking stuff where I can't see him. Damage though. I hope one day I can design stuff like this. If we don't just go find his dead body somewhere, that would really suck. I hope he made it out of here alive and safe. Yeah. Let's get out of here. My one good luck, uh, good loot item was a hammer. <laughs> oh man, what is that little thing over there? That's so cool. Oh, we're back at the beginning now. see any uh, dead guy on the floor, so I guess uh, he made it all right. That's the thing we can't do yet. That's the thing for the travelers. That's the thing for the travelers. I feel like we might be able to do that one. Um, but... Ooh, we are so close. No, we're not, are we? That's not Isa. Oh yeah, we're first Isa. That's not Isa. That's whatever that other place is. This place is so cool, though. I want to go there right now. If all of our other quests are current, and I think they are, we've cleared this area, kind of. No, we did for the most part. There's some items here that I need to get a little better at my stealth. I also wanted to discover this area or walk through it. I was just looking to see, is like, did I uncover everything in the other areas? Yeah, we did. All right. Let's go to. Quests. Side quests are done. Kind of holding off on these. We could check out this one and no, that one's way over there. So it's time for the main quest. Yay! Excited. I love this place. Well, this really reminds me of um. Anyone who's played Elder Scrolls Online, yes, so. Um, there's a quest. The main quest for Merkmire is so cool. And there's one point in the main story that makes me feel like the, that place we're going to here.
Have I never noticed those before? Wow. Very cute. I've seen those before in like different places, but never there. That's pretty cool. Maybe I can't take a screenshot. Maybe if I go over here and I crouch. About the closest I can get. I don't, I don't think that'll be a thumbnail screenshot, you know, but, but that's going to be a my background. On my computer, I have like, a, like an album just filled with screenshots from all the games I played, and throw screenshots in there all the time and and this will look pretty oh man this would be an even better screenshot i'll be able to get it yeah oh damn it that guy the little black dumb eye symbol I'm not trying to steal anything homie bro you're messing up my screenshot No. Gotta take what I can get. I would love like a screenshot like this, of course, if I didn't have my character away. But for YouTube, I could do that. The one like right here. There you go. Maybe one of those will be our thumbnail today. The maid, convinced of Olane's threat, agreed free the town. The people offered thanks and praise, and quietly, she went her ways. Once the ill were brought to health, and the villain had fallen by, good Olaine returned to mortal ground, and gifted them with magic found. What a beautiful view. Maybe that should be my thumbnail. We'll see. One of them is going to look cool. The others are not going to fit. And whichever one it is, is going to have the compass in the wrong spot. And I won't be able to use it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that view, though, that really almost makes me feel like Skyrim. You know, like Skyrim when it's like 6 a.m. and you look out at the distance, like it, that's that beautiful uh, golden hour. Love it. Come closer, oh. little curiosity. Love this, and you're walking up the route. I'm gonna save in case there's any, uh, you know, speech checks. One seeks a way to the Fey, but it has found its way to the boughs of the world tree instead. Rest, Quickling, and I may study you. What are you? Look around you, and I am all that you can see. My roots spread across Dalantarth. My leaves read the winds from Frostbrine Coast to Alabastra. My family and I circle this world. We were saplings when your kind emerged from the dark. And we will grow with you until this world burns once again. Very interesting. My roots spread wide and deep, and I have heard what brought
brought you here, but I cannot see where you go hence. The time of the Fae is passing. I must shelter them in their twilight, and protect them from the prismic corruption that spreads in their kin. That's crazy. The time of the Fae is passing. The gardens of fate are clear to me, and all that ever shall be are visible in its blooms. Easter's end has always been certain. Buried beneath prismere blades, I can only hold back the tide. But you, perhaps you can change the currents. Where you tread, you mark all you touch. Before I would help you, I must know. Will you be a kind gardener, or a careless reaper? Hmm. Yes, but will it be for the better? I cannot stop you from trying, but perhaps I can guide your efforts. A tribe of trolls has been corrupted with Prismere. The matriarch, Nash, has united the clans in the first step on the path of Dalantarth's demise. You can change this fate, but to what? In doing so, you may awaken a more dangerous threat, like your ally, Aelin Shear. She walks a dark and tangled path. A path you once walked together, before you died. But your path is your own now. Defeat Nash, remove the taint of Prismir. Then I shall see who you are, if not who you will become. Alright, let's do this. Walk your path. And watch your ally. Maybe this is where my thumbnail should be. I could get like one of my little boy. Over there. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I just thought about how ridiculous this must look like seeing me like trying to get the perfect screenshot stupid all right let's move on um is the next part to finally go to um isa because like i really would like to go there no yeah but it's uh, we're backtracking just a little bit That's fine. We really need to get more XP so we can do more things. Alright. Oh. I was trying to take advantage of the system there. This, okay, remember, this is an accessible.
guy who has like TNT in his club, I guess. Those. Okay. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I don't want those. Oh yeah, but I do need to get rid of some stuff that we have in here. Um, we're holding on to this for the abilities. We like it. This is a really good helmet, so it's actually our best helmet, so we should hold on to it. And I remember now, we're holding on to this because it's plus two sorcery, but this is, at this point, we've, out we've surpassed this level. So, there's really no point in keeping that. Right piece of farmer gloves. And harbinger shoes. Goodbye. I mean, wait a minute. Is it better than those? Yeah, but never mind. Can't wait till we get to go to Isa, and then I get to run around naked and get all my fucking find XP, <laughs> my skills. I thought I'd find you here. All right, what are you doing here? A damned tree sent me. He has roots and branches all through the forest, but I was so hoping you'd be enough of a distraction for me to pass unnoticed. He said we should walk this path together. Thought I could help you, or maybe that you could help me. I've never met Nash. Trolls and Darkofar rarely invite each other to tea. But if she's matriarch of a clan, you can be sure that she's strong. And if she's so corrupted that Neuralin is nervous about her, then she must pose a bigger threat than most trolls. Let's get her. Let's not keep Nash waiting. Aww. Not normally this well organized. Even the biggest clans never build dens this deep. Frozen in time. Oh, that's uh, I that one. I don't even know what that is. Just run that one away. What's this other one? This loot pile here. Is it above us? Oh, it's above us. Okay.
What are the oh, two hi there. there. Yeah. You can take care of these guys. They're gonna be so annoying. We're actually doing a lot better. We're still getting a little st um, stunned here and there from some of the bigger enemies. But for the most part, we're pretty good now. Which is a lot sooner than I thought. We are still playing on hard, um, hard difficulty, so... Oh, I waited too long. Save. I haven't saved in a while. Cool spear guy. Potions eventually. Fuck that up. How much uh, our magic is actually going up? That ten percent really is pretty good. second think having an eye like now I'm like oh man I should always be carrying an item that boosts my magic uh, because look it's like every time I hit them it's going back up 
I thought it was like a 10% chance, so I always never took it seriously. Looks like the Tuatha have been working here for a long time. If they've come this far inland, we're all in grave danger. guy first. He's priority. Thing that sucks is if you're trying to go for that third chakra toss. Sometimes he gets out of his stun ability before I can I get my chakras back, so I'm kind of stuck. Most of the time it's fine. It just means I'm gonna get hit sometimes a little bit more often if I'm trying to go for that third chakra attack. Which is okay. Like the risk is much smaller than the. Um, the reward. It's really not a bad gamble. I like the gambler. Uh, let's see. Armor, but I lose a lot of stuff. So, no. I'm fine with what I have. Yeah, so you'll see that, like, often I will find items that are better than what I have, like, damage-wise or whatever, but really, for the most part, I feel like the game is, is pretty... It's not that challenging. The boss fights are pretty tough sometimes. For the most part, it's okay. And you can get by with wearing stuff that's, like, half the defense of things you'll find because... Look at that. That's a hundred. That is almost where it is. Twenty-five more damage. More physical damage. I'm just losing that. Oh, but that man of steel, man. Well, let's try it out. Let's see if it makes a big difference. And this one has some armor slots. I think this might be worth holding on to if I was down to put something in those slots. Um, maybe I should hold on to it. Whoa. No. I like what I have. Oh, I should have saved before this fight, though. Yeah, so in these kinds of fights that get a little bit more challenging, that's where I come in here and I grab... Regen. Let's get some mana regen too. Do we have that? Yeah, let's grab more strength. I don't think it's that bad, but. Ooh, that would be nice. Let's do that. Try to roll and didn't get it in time. So look how that potion's really helping out my health right now.
keeps getting with those wild swings. And it's hard to dodge those. Like kill the love crab. That's a cool thing. More damage with ranged. More chance to critical hit. More critical hit with ranged. But I don't... It's not really what I'm looking for, so goodbye. And that's definitely not better than what we have. Plus 50% mana regen per second, though. Um... No. No. I'm gonna save in case she has a speech check. Nice work. I see you haven't forgotten how to handle yourself in a fight. Still, this is bad. I didn't think the Tawatha would reach this far. At least not so soon. For now, why not take comfort in knowing that you saved Nirolim and his forest? Go, talk to the tree. I'm sure he'll allow you into Isa. I'll stay here and finish off any remaining Tuatha. I'll find you again when time is right. Alright, so... Get out of here. Oh, backwards. Alright, see you later. That wasn't so bad. I mean, all those potions I've just been collecting, like, not using, I just popped them during the fight. There will be other fights that will be a lot more challenging than that. But for the most part, that's kind of how it is. Go to Isa. Get ready to see my guy and just his tattered whatever clothes running around getting my skill points. It looks even cooler at this time of day. Magical. Done. 
and in your wake, Dalantarth blossoms. The flow is rearranged, now and forever. Nash's brood is at an end. You have destroyed what was written and made a new fate for Dalantarth. Even your darkest ally walks a lighter path. And yet the Dwartha still spread, marching with Prismir and pain. You have only delayed our doom. Oh, I tried. Oh, good. I'm glad I saved. I have already given you much. You must go. Oh, sorry. We're passing the sweet check. Yeah, we're going to pass it. I want to hear what the tree says. You return, Nash, and yet the Tuathas. You have the power of an immortal, and yet the humility to ask for help. Little one, I envy your grace. You shall carry my blessings with you. You must know this, Quigling. The age is changing. Immortals are passing, and the future belongs to the young races. If there is a future to be had, Go, and stand at the heart of the she. There you will find Isa, and perhaps you will find wisdom as well. Only the path of your own choosing. Stand at the heart of the she, and if that path includes the gardens of Isa, I shall allow it. I love it. It's too bad that it would be really cool if, like, one of these, like, whenever you came to visit, um, Neuralim, it would be cool if, like, when you visited Neuralim, you would get, like, a temporary buff, kind of like the R Walters. Like a blessing, that'd be kind of sick. And then it would be, you could, like, come visit the tree every once in a while to get, like, Listen to the whispers or something, you know. Miralim, may your wisdom grow within us all. So cool. All right. That's cool. So by passing that speech check, we got a necklace. Um, it's a very cool necklace, like the way it looks, but I, I don't think I'm going to use it. Yeah, it's elemental resistance, so. But I love Nero so I'll keep it. All right, we finally get to go to Isa. Yay. We're going there now. Here, actually, I think I should sell some stuff. Oh, I can sell stuff at Isa. That's fine. We're almost going to hit our... um. Hour and a half mark, and knowing me. Try not to go too late. I love Issa. It's one of my favorite cities in this game. Probably Gorehart, Issa, um, and man, I can't remember the, the big city. Issa Fen R, I think. I, just, like, I gotta remember what it is. Fear. Yeah.
it's so cool. Like the way it literally opens up for you, you specifically, and it's like look at this beautiful path that's just for you. I mean, for anyone else that walks it, but it's rare that anyone else does get to walk it. So. screenshot <laughs> okay I wish every city you went to would get that kind of introduction every city even town, little towns like Gorehart and, and whatever that one that's like Gorehart with the Iden Hill I can't remember There's so much to do here. We'll be here for a while. Home of the summer court and the warm heart of the Feylands. It is a rare occasion for us to welcome a child of dust into Isa, but it is equally rare that Nirlam chooses a champion. Pleased to meet you. I am Chancellor to the High King. I pray you enjoy your hospitality. the city is it's like i don't know it's like it it looks kind of like that up there like it opens up so it makes me wonder if like i wonder if like well i mean is it always um in this season when there's other seasons has it closed to kind of shield from the elements i don't know but it looks so cool i love it i just love the design so much A lot of stuff we have to do here. There really is. Um, there's some side quests we have to do. There is some skill, um, skill trainers that we need to speak to. And that, honestly, we have to do that first. Easier to get that out of the way. And actually, I think we can't even talk to all of them. If I remember right, there's some we're going to have to come back later when we're a little higher level. Let's see what we have here. Stay away somewhere. There it is, there it is. Okay. Greeners, what do we have here? So there is two alchemy here that we have to speak with. No, just one. One alchemy here. There's also a blacksmithing person. There's also a detect hidden person. And we need to talk to Eric Porth. No, that's, that's sorry, that's Odessa Waltz, but we do need to talk to somebody for dispelling, actually. There is nobody here for lock picking. Thankfully, <laughs> uh, mercantile, no one here for that. Nobody here for persuasion. There is someone here for sage craft. Actually, there's two people here for sage craft. And no one here for stealth. OK. That's quite a bit. Quite a bit. All right, these are all zero to three, so that means I can just go speak to somebody um, so they can respect, and then I don't have to put points back in. I can just go grab these skill points. 
it, the respecting thing gets a little bit more complicated. Like when you have things like, um, because the trainers only do ranges. So these trainers are the low level trainers and they do zero to three. But if you have more than three, you can't use this trainer. So there's also trainers that only do four to six. And there's trainers that only do seven to nine. So if you have more than that, you can't do them. If you have less than that, you can't do them. So it gets a little bit more complicated when we get higher level. And we'll have like, we're going to have to respect to make sure that we have at least enough points in each thing that it is we need to train up. And it's, as you level up and you have more skills, it's a little bit more difficult to allocate everything in order to get everything that you want. But if you stay on top of it, you make sure not to do any books. Don't do any skill books. Save that until the end of the game. Or at least when you've finished all of your skill trainers, then you should be fine. Yeah, so let's run around and do all of this right now so we don't have to worry about it next time. So first thing is first, we need to get to a... Um, we need to find... That's a trainer. Some of these we might be able to... Um, I didn't mean to do that. Ugh, I just like murdered like two little birds chilling, doing nothing. Okay, first we we do need to get to a healer. Then second we need to go find um. Still digesting what just happened. Second we need to go find a fate weaver. So, let's. <laughs> I need to get to a healer. Let's focus on one thing at a time. Okay, well, let me just run around too and explore all the areas so we can uncover the full map. I remember that one quest. There's one quest where you have to sneak around back here and have to murder somebody. I mean, I'm sure there's a healer somewhere, if there isn't, whatever, I'm still going to respect. We covered all of this, then we need to go up to the... Relis. There's some more people over there. Is that healers? Sagecraft? Alchemy? I don't remember what the healer icon looks like, but I'm sure I'll know it when I see it. There might not be a healer. I mean, I feel like there has to be. It's a city, so there's probably somebody here, but... There isn't, that's fine too. At least here I don't have to worry about NPCs getting killed and losing an, an ability to do a quest. I'm going up to the I'm going up to the trellis because we ha I know there's some more trainers up here. Oh, there's just Greetings. Stealing? Doesn't look like it's stealing. I'm covering all of this area. A lot of little side quests to do here. stealing okay all right so I, I didn't see any healers that's fine we can go take care of that later um we're just going to go and fate weave and i don't even know if there's a fate weaver here what can i do which i guess makes sense maybe like lore wise um who's this this is dispelling um we probably can do that one while we're here That is skills. Dispelling is zero to three, so we can't. We might be able to, because that's a green. Um, so it's technically only two. But actually, let me try to know. Chat. Okay, good. I mean, I guess good. 
Because I'm on my notepad right now, so I can't see any chat. I got my little um, checklist. Oh, you took me by surprise. I'm not accustomed to mortals on the trellis. Please enter. I am Lord Saramur, the High Lord Sage of Isa. I am here to answer all questions regarding the House of Ballads and the House of Valor. Okay, so the bonus that I have right now to my skills from my uh, uh, destiny isn't going to affect uh, skilling like this. So I technically still have two, so I can use him. So let's go ahead. Now I have plus one to spelling. Let me check this off our list here. Hey. All right. We got that done. Is there anyone else on the trellis? I think that's the only person on the trellis. I think everyone else is down in the city. No, there's one more person out here. Garden. Oh, this person could be in the gardens or the trellis. Well, I didn't see them up here, so they must be in the gardens. That's a sagecraft person. All right. Let's go start checking people off the list. Anyway. I'm at your service. I checked that person off. I mean, if I don't, I mean, I'm going to have to respect. I already know, because there's a detect hidden person here. It doesn't matter. Good. This is the sage crafting person, I think. Greetings. What shall I do now? <laughs> Someone in Issa is always looking to send me away. But I won't go. No. Well, if it isn't the mortal I've heard so much about. Congratulations on your successes in the House of Ballads. Well done indeed. Thank you. I was expecting him to uh, talk down to me about that. I figured a lot of Fae would not be happy about it because it was going against the grain. But I'm happy that he congratulated me. And let's get our skill point from him. I think we can get it. Oh good, it's technically one, so we can get both of them. There we go. We got this sagecraft from Viscont. And we need to still go get the one from the Delving Hall. Let's see, I'm going to just go around, I guess, counterclockwise. That's what's happening. So, people over here. Oh no. I can't get to the Delving Hall yet. Hello, child. Oh, wait, oh, unlock that. Okay, cool. We can do that. Oh, wait. No, we can't. Yes, we can. The Scalia Arcane Embassy in Issa. Okay, good. Where is that? Is that right here? Hell yeah. Right here. Cool. We need to talk to... Welcome to the Isa Chapter House of the Scolia Arcana. How may I be of assistance? We are an order of magic practitioners dedicated to the fostering of knowledge regarding all things mystical and arcane. While the heart of our power lies in Rathir, we keep an embassy here in Isa to maintain strong relations with the Fae. Traditionally, our applicants undergo years of preparation, but we understand your circumstances are somewhat irregular. Ever since you entered the city, we've been watching you. After all, an endorsement from Nerilim is not quickly dismissed. If it is your wish to join our order, you must first complete the trial of initiation. 
I will submit to trial. Then first I shall present you with this. It is the story of the Order's founding and a good primer for all who wish to join our ranks. Now I shall summon the circle of mages necessary to perform the ritual. Savant Engar will lead the trial. Speak to him in the Delving Hall when you're ready to begin. Farewell. We will continue that quest later, but right now I just need access to the Delving Hall. So we can get all these skill points taken care of. And I do see a store here. I can't remember if we sold our stuff, but we do need to do it anyways. I don't know if we've had the pleasure. I'm the finest merchant in these parts, I assure you. Okay, do you have anything good for me? I'll take some health potions. Honestly, these are pretty good too. I can afford it. looking for backpack stuff but those are kind of rare i know there's somebody in this city that has a backpack increase all right let's go to the delving hall where you spoke to that other guy out there Is it? It's just, it kind of looks like one. There he is. Greetings. I have some ability oh, with right, sorry. sage crafting. Do you wish for some instruction? Yes, I do. Please. <laughs> All right. There's a second one. We need to get to Do we have anything else here that we need to get in Isa other than the zero to threes? Well, okay, so starting the bottom, there's no more there's no stealth people here. There's we got the two stagecraft ones. There is no persuasion. There is no mercantile. There's no lock picking here. Dispelling. We already got the person who does dispelling. Detect hidden. There is a detect hidden person, so that's who we need to look for next. I'm just happy we haven't. Oh, the detect hidden. We're, we have to respect before we can do that. So, I did not see a fate weaver here, so I'm going to fast travel real quick. There might be, and I'm just completely missing it. I, I don't see them, so. How are you? How are you? This is probably the most uh, inconvenient Fate Weaver I could have ran to. Normally on my later games, I like to go to the Fate Weaver at, I think it's the Sun Camp. This, the, whichever one it is, or Star Camp, whichever one it is that is near the um, Rathir. I just feel like that one's easy to get to. You can fast travel to it, you don't have to walk that far, it's right there. There's also a store you can sell stuff at, in my opinion. Checking the chat again, just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Respecting. Always save before you respec, just in case you regret all of your decisions. Make yourself at home. So long. <laughs> Back to Isa. 
All right, let's get these other things before we level up. You go grab the tech hidden blacksmithing, and I think there's like one more. We got this guy. We got the sagecraft. Um, we need to grab this alchemy. Let me go grab these blacksmith and detect hidden first. He's, uh, don't mind his raggedy clothes right now. I promise we'll fix that soon. What is it, sir? You've been watching me long enough. What is it? Did I wrong you in another life, brother? Just want some training. <laughs> you. Sweet. Alright, so let me mark that off. Okay, so now the blacksmith team is done. We still need detect hidden. Somebody in the building across from me, yep. Yeah. wing of the embassy and few venture here without being summoned. I am Abbasada Adva, he who bloodies the waters. Oh, can I buy a title? I do my training first. Stay out of my way. I may the Varani be of assistance to you this day. The Varani allow the purchase of several titles for use in the gardens of Issa. They are rare and should be worn with great respect. Guardian of Arms. This title carries with it much history and much responsibility. Do not take it for granted. I proclaim you Guardian of Arms. Ooh. That's what I am now. Alright. Oh, that was a detect, uh, detect hidden. And now all that's left is, I think, alchemy. Yeah. I don't know why I just tried to walk through. Um, and we must do what needs to be done. Perhaps Water. we must finally swallow our dignity and draw our swords. Quiet. We must not discuss this further in the open. Interesting. We'll hear more about that later when we are running back to the city to do all the side quests. Normally I would just pick them up, I just to add to my log, but for now I'm just trying to get this, these skills um, taken care of so I can reapply my skills and stuff and so I can get off for the night because it's a little late for me. Um, yes. That way we don't have to do this when we get on next time. Next time we'll just be jumping to uh, all the wonderful side quests that are in this area. Well, I don't know how long, but we might be here the majority of the next playthrough. We'll see. Presenting he, the wisest imperator, the guardian of arms. Yeah, that's me, guardian of arms now. So cool. Oh, hello. I didn't see you. Uh, you will have to excuse my state, your grace. The House of Ballads rarely sends its ruler to meet with me. I usually entertain mortals from Felltown. <laughs> What's Felltown? I enjoy the martial world immensely. It adds such texture and color to our experience. 
Now and then you might find me in your dusting district, taking in the bustle. Okay. <laughs> Alright, alchemy is now... Okay, so now let me make sure we got everything. We got alchemy. We got blacksmithing. We got detect hidden. We got this building. We got lock picking. No, it's no lock picking here. There's no mercantile here. There's no persuasion here. We got a sagecraft, and there's no stealth here. So we got everything there is for now. And I'm going to go ahead and level up our little boy here. Saving again, just in case I make a mistake. Now we can put one last point into the dispelling. I remember we're going to be getting one more point with our destiny. So I only need to put, I can leave one spot there. And we need to only have up to here that. I want to at least be able to salvage for sure. That's important, but we don't need that as much as some other stuff. Oh, rare. Okay, yeah, it is really useful. It's really only useful if you haven't been in, um, frequenting, you know, to sell stuff. Then, like, if you get caught, like, in a dungeon, you can at least salvage some stuff and get some money back for it from it. So you can salvage, like, all the white items and still get something back. Oh, man. <laughs> I put all of it into dispelling. I'm obviously tired. This should be going here. Detect hidden. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's think about this. Well, I would like these to both at least be here. Um, and I know I definitely want at least to get this unlocked. Mercantile is so important. I'm evening stuff out right now. I think we've got... Are there any other 0 out of 3s that we need to worry about or plan for? Because maybe we should just keep that spot kind of open. Uh, yeah, we do need to get one more alchemy that's here to 3, so we're, we're going to just have to respect again later. That's okay. It's really not a big deal. You have more than enough money, it's not a big deal, so just respect when you need it. Um, okay, I think this is what I'm... Oh wait, that's right. Let me look at this. I want one here. There we go. I really need yeah, I do need that one there. This will give me that. You can do four. So it opens up those two. Um let me put this into stealth. That'll help us out a little bit. Man, I do feel like I need to put this into here. Persuasion. Let's just put in the persuasion. So we just have a little less trouble with those um, speech checks. There's going to be more. Especially with all the questing that we're doing. Because sometimes, like, if your persuasion is low enough, like, you can save scum all you want. You're just not going to really make it. I really don't care about my stage crafting. Sorry. Um, so that's, I haven't put anything in there. Okay, that's fine. I want my stealth there. I want my lock picking at least here. I want my persuasion up to here. I want my alchemy at least there. Okay, I think this is exactly what it was before, but whatever. This is what I'm happy with. Okay. This is annoying, but um, we have to run through these again. Um, so it's 57. 
I think it was 19. Is that right? Doing the math. Um, 57 divided by 3. Yes, 19. Okay. So, 19 for each one. That's where we're at for might. And yeah, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And for finesse, we want. Oh, what's this one do? Wow, man. I am so sorry. I am very tired. We need this a lot. Unlocks the charge for Fey Blades. I put one here, just so that way, if I have any points that can boost it, I can. Now this one, I think, isn't for Fey Blades, is it? Oh, okay. We need that, too. I'm forgetting something. Oh well. Is it this one? This just increases damage. We don't care about that, really. Um, I think this is about where we were on that. I feel like I have an extra skill point that I don't know where it came from. Um, here you go. This is for chakrams. Yeah, and this one doesn't do anything for chakrams. This is staff and scepter. Staff, scepter. Yeah, we don't really care about that stuff. So, okay, cool. We're at 19. That's where we were before. Let's grab our prodigy, which is the highest of all three that we can get right now. Just again to confirm, the next one is at until 26. And that's it. So if we go back to our inventory, we can re-equip all of our really cool stuff. I can get rid of some of this stuff. Those were okay, right? But they weren't really anything to like. It, these, honestly, I don't really notice much of a difference. But I will hold on to that and the different elements. I guess it doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, for armor, let's go back to this one, and we'll just get rid of this because we're not really worrying about that right now. When we do, I'll come back to it. And I'm just re-equipping everything that we had before. It looks like we still have everything here. I like that one better than this one. But that's because I like negative um, costs. So we're still good on that. Our accessories, our consumables don't really matter for what we're doing. All right, we're back to normal. Let's take a look at how our skills are. Yeah, oh, let me fix my abilities. Those always need to get fixed um, after we move stuff around. I like that one being X. I like this one being Y. No, my bad, I like this one being A. Y, I like to be... Uh, this button. Actually, before we do that, oh good, it's already there. I always like to go on and equip that so it's on. And, and I go back to my abilities, and now I put something over that. Which, for me, I prefer this one to go on B. That way I don't ever actually... It's, once 
sit, I want to uh, all the time. It's not a big deal to me. So there we go. Those are our abilities. I mean, you can't see it. My dumb little head's in the way right now, but I, that's the way I like to have it. Um, I set it up. And we're good. We're ready to play next time. Let's go outside so when we come back, it looks it's nice, pretty to look at. One of those Can pictures I, I took today will be our thumbnail, depending on how I feel. Alright. Oh, I wanted to look at our skills really quick before I left us. Status skills. Check that out. Look how cool it looks. Big improvement. Pretty cool. Seeing all of that. We're getting like a bonus persuasion. I think it was from... Um, I think it's from an item I have in my inventory, if I remember right. But yeah, pretty cool. So, Houston will be able to upgrade those even further. Well, anyways, that's all for me tonight. I'm going to bounce now. When we come back on Wednesday next week, 7 p.m.-ish, um, we're going to complete all the side quests in Issa and progress the main story in Issa. And... I feel like that'll be enough to take up two hours, but um, we'll see. And then, of course, on Monday, if you're interested in watching, I am going to continue my apartment build I'm working on in The Sims 4. Next, we have to start decorating all of the decorating slash furnishing all of the apartments. That's honestly the most difficult and challenging part for me because I feel like I have a tough time decorating or coming up with themes and stuff so we'll see how that goes but anyways thank you for watching thank you for joining me on my little trip through isa my naked slash raggedy clothes i appreciate it i hope you have a good week i hope uh, you found something inspiring in this that you get to uh that makes you want to play kingdoms of amalur it's an amazing game um thank you I appreciate you. Have a good week, and I'll see you next week.